Hi, this is the Gretsch Electromatic 5120. This is Gretsch's most popular guitar right now. I'm going to show you how to remove these stock humbucking pickups and replace them with TV Classics in the English mount with silver rings. The first thing I'll do is remove the pickups, the pick guard, and this portion of the wiring harness because that's where the pickups are wired to. I'm going to remove the pick guard. Next will be the pickups. I'm not going to take the strings off, I'm, I'm just going to lower the pitch a little bit. No, no reason to waste these strings. I like to keep my left hand close to the tip of the screwdriver in case it slips off the screw. And uh, it could easily scratch your top or some of the pickup parts. You notice the stock pickups have ring risers underneath them. That's because these 5120s and 5122s tend to have a higher neck angle. So the uh, English mount is going to need some ring risers as well, just to jack the pickups up a little higher for better fidelity. I have the pickups ready to come out, but before I do that I'm going to remove the knobs and then this part of the harness. We offer a tube toolkit with tubes that fit the pots and a tube that fits the switches or a switch. We have this dowel that's tapered. You plug into the input jack, it sticks, and then you are able to remove the jack in and out pretty easily. I highly recommend it. Okay, we got the pick guard off. We have the pickups loose and all the pots that we need to remove are ready to come out with tubes connected to them and we have the dowel connected to the input jack. And this is really important, a rag. You don't want to scratch your guitar top. Upside down. Okay. There's the neck pickup. As you see, it's uh, just a Gibson style humbucking pickup. And here's the bridge pickup. Now it's time to fill these holes. These holes are for the Gibson style ring. It really doesn't match up to a real Gibson ring, but it's similar. But we're going to install Gretsch rings, which are a little different. So I'm going to fill them. What I am going to do is take a, a wooden dowel and cut off just a little bit of the tip. Right about there. Feel how it fits. That feels pretty snug at the bottom. I'm going to use some tight bond. Get a little bit of glue on here. Wire cutters. Nice flush cut. A rag with just a little damp, a little damp with a little bit of water on it. Just touch it. And I'll do the next. Notice I'm compressing the, the cutoff portion of the dowel. This is really easy, so don't freak out over it. So you're going to want to fill holes 
with real wood, not with putty. So this is something that you're going to do a lot of if you work on guitars. It's best to graft a piece of wood in there. Compress it. Remember, this is slightly damp. Okay, time to put the rings on the pickups. We don't ship them that way so they don't get damaged. Here's a tip, um, just compress and then it's easy to turn the screw head that way. You're not turning against the spring compression. You want to get them a, a little on the higher side. This is also very important. Read the back of the pickup. Our stickers, we got neck and bridge. It's very important. Our bridge pickups have a wider pole to pole spacing. You see on the edge here. And we have a gap here on the ends. And here, the gap is much smaller on this bridge pickup. Notice the American flag. Um, just to let you know that every part here, every TV Jones part, is USA made with our own tooling. Here we go. Now we have the advantage when we re drill our holes to mount the pickups right over the poles because many times factories are in a rush and they don't really take the time to center everything just right. So I'll go more over that later. I'm going to use two on the bridge because there's a much larger gap. So now I'm going to solder the new pickups to the pots. Grab the new pickup wire. Remember to go under the strings. Cut this a little shorter. Get it glossy. Ready. Now let's pull these through. This will be fun. We're going to do the neck first. It's the farthest away. May as well play the, play, pull the tone a little bit. Pull the jack. Kind of pull everything at the same time. Don't pull too hard, you don't want to lose that, that input jack. 